Keep the Word of God strong in our lives. Keep the spirit of hope and the grace of healing alive every day. This is Keep the Faith, a daily celebration of the Holy Eucharist on Radyo Katipuna. Remain still as we welcome the light of the Word in our hearts. And welcome to Keep the Faith, the daily celebration of the Holy Eucharist with the Jesuits here on Radyo Katipunan. Today is the Wednesday of the fifth week of Lent, the 20th of March, 2024. Let us all rise as we welcome our Mass celebrant this morning, Reverend Father Oliver D. of the Society of Jesus, with the singing of our entrance hymn. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, as is customary, let us be mindful of our need to experience the Lord's mercy as we begin our sacred celebration. Lord Jesus, you came to gather all nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance. And in your kindness, grant those you stir to a devotion, to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I had made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white-hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white-hot furnace, and from your hands, O king, may he save us. But even if he will not, know, O king, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and cast them into the white-hot furnace. 
Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But, he replied, I see four men, unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar ex exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For our responsorial psalm, glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Please all rise to honor the gospel. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say, you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So, if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence, then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I, for I came from God, and I'm here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. In this week, uh, fifth week of Lent, as following the narrative of the Gospel, we are approaching the death, the condemnation and death of Jesus, Jesus who will undergo his passion. We are also brought face to face with this story about three brothers who were cast in the furnace and being tested whether or not they will uh, fall into the trap of idolatry to worship the golden statue. For us in this season of Lent, we are called to inspect and examine our own attitudes in the face of death. In the face of death, the normal human inclination 
is to leave a legacy by which one can be remembered. And so if one is remembered, uh, whether digitally or in a concrete a monument or a name of a building or perhaps in a book or maybe in a tree one planted or perhaps in one's progeny. Uh, one, in a way, feels that one overcomes this death through a sense of being immortal or being immortalized in what we have left behind. But the question to ask ourselves this in this season of Lent, as regards this building of a legacy is, at what point does building a legacy become idolatrous and no longer life-giving? Here in the Old Testament from the book of Daniel, we have here an example of interior freedom, or what Jesuits call spiritual indifference. He said, we hope that God, whom we serve, will save us from the white-hot furnace. But even if he will not, know, O king, that we will not serve your God. We will not worship the golden statue that you set up. An example of spiritual indifference. So in the face of death and this natural inclination to be immortal, as it were, through our own life legacies, we ask ourselves, can we maintain this sense of indifference or interior freedom? Do we want to be, to be remembered at all costs uh, to the point that we exert every effort to leave a legacy and an imprint on this earth? Here I go back to a model that for all of us today, uh, the uh, Car uh, the uh, Archbishop of Manila some decades ago, ab about 2000, he retired 2011, uh, Cardinal uh, Gaudencio Rosales. I was able to find here an article written by his secretary, Father Reginald Malikdem, in Inquirer, and he writes this about Cardinal Rosales, and I quote, At the press conference announcing his one announcing of his retirement, one reporter asked how he, the cardinal, wants to be remembered. His answer was surprising. I don't want to be remembered. Please forget me. That was no cliche for the cardinal. He was just being consistent. He does not want any building, any institution, foundation, even a room to be named in his honor. People who do not know him may not understand, but that is how simply the cardinal is. He does not want to be remembered. He only wants us to remember Jesus. In this Mass today, let us inspect our own attitudes in the face of death and ask, can we, in fact, adopt this attitude of interior freedom exemplified by the three brothers in the Old Testament and in our former Archbishop of Manila, Cardinal Gaudencio Rosales. We are children of Abraham and of our Father who is in heaven. Let us, now, let us not allow ourselves to be enslaved by sin and by the devil. For every petition, let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May people show that they are descendants of Abraham by being hospitable and by believing in Jesus, the seed of Abraham, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we show to the world that God is our Father by doing His will on earth as it is being done in heaven, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we allow neither the promise of reward nor the threat of punishment to sway us away from the worship of the true God and from obeying His commandments, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we use our freedom as children of God to do good and not as license to satisfy the sinful nature in us, 
we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Lord send his angel to deliver those who trust in him from physical and moral dangers. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, Tessie Perez, Grace Glorigo, Malu Rodriguez, Ricky Portillo, Kimiko Juanco, Edgar Santos, Melissa Gonzalez, Noel Hernandez, Ven Gucci Soul, Sofia Alegado, Ko Poti, Ko Bunting, Mila Gutierrez, Christian Paras, Brian Alonte, Louis Julian, Benjamin Yap, Jojo Concepcion, Jennifer Albarad, Grace D. For the healing of Annie Hizon, Sherry Ocampo, Michelle Salvador, Estela Marina Garcia, Tisha Aganon, May Sines, Karina Ali, Abby Puno, Seth Verhel de Dios, Rocio Tabayoyong, Ginger, Joey, Juan Ong, Bernard Danchan, Jose Marie Ong, and Juanita Nang Chi. For the repose of the souls of Paul Arellano, Dr. Rafi Dizon, Alfredo Caparas, Pasing de Guzman, Linda Caparas, Luis Fernandez, Betty Yap, Mrs. Ang, and Carlo Dukinhoy. For the special intentions of Horacio and Josefa de la Rama on their 60th wedding anniversary, <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. Ambrosio Macalental Jr., Marites Betshay, Chona, Melanie, Winda, Maui, Jun, Hilda. For the successful art competition of Zonta Makati, for Nightingale Keys, Pat Ignacio Tan, Marie Keys and Family, Violet, Dennis Tan, Jeanette and Vic, Thelma Ali, Rose Gonzaga, Chinky Teodoro, Diego and Joaquin, Dennis and Cell, Elo Santiago, Bless Malilin, Eden Rabena, JP and Hill, Jet and Ada, Nathan Hans, Annie Bautista, Ignite Ventures, Rene, Cyril, Khalil, JD Ong, Gio Ong, Erica King, Juliana Ong, Gina Suarez, and Gigi Alonte. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Listen, O Lord, to the prayers of your faithful gathered around your altar, and grant all of them according to your wisdom and according to your will. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Consider you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual bread. Blessed be God forever. Please all rise. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings with which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart 
to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with Lord. your spirit. Peace, each other the sign of peace. peace be with you. Peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Peace. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Antiphon, God has brought us to the kingdom of His beloved Son, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Attend, Almighty God, to the prayers of your people, and as you endow them with confident hope in your compassion, let them feel as ever the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. I know.